NBC7's Nightly Check-In is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. We know how. Governor Newsom is easing the state's criteria to allow counties in California to reopen faster, and that could mean in-store shopping and dining in at restaurants very soon. Thank you for joining us for the nightly check in. I'm Catherine Garcia. Governor Newsom said 53 out of the 58 counties should be eligible to move further into phase two under these new rules. The county must meet the following rules to qualify. Hospitalization rates cannot increase more than 5% over seven days. There should be less than 25 COVID-19 cases for every 100,000 residents over 14 days, or the rate of positive tests must be less than 8% over 14 days. The governor said statewide hospitalizations have dropped in the past two weeks, and if things keep getting better, shopping could be allowed in store soon. Professional sporting events would also be allowed in the first week of June, but without fans, and other sectors of the economy will be also allowed to reopen. And that includes, uh, for example, getting a haircut, uh, which is very meaningful. And that, uh, is, that can be done uh, on a regional variance, uh, but it will be able uh, to be advanced, uh, we believe, in the next few weeks, even statewide. And also coming perhaps in early June is the reopening of houses of worship. Governor Newsom said he's having discussions with religious leaders, and he said there is progress being made. San Diego County leaders say we do meet the governor's new standards to move further into phase two, but we're waiting to make it official. County Public Health Officer Wilma Wooten says they plan to outline it all tomorrow at the County Board of Supervisors meeting. If the plan for an accelerated stage two opening is approved tomorrow, we could see things like again, dine in restaurants and in-store shopping soon with social distancing and other precautions in place. So here are the latest numbers that show why San Diego meets the governor's standards to reopen. We hold steady at a 3% positive average. That's 110 new cases out of more than 3,400 tests reported today. In all, there are nearly 6,000 confirmed coronavirus cases in the county. Two more San Diegans have died. That brings the total number of deaths here to 211 people. Despite serious health concerns, casinos in San Diego County are beginning to reopen. Viejas was the first to welcome back visitors this morning and hundreds of people lined up outside waiting to go in. I didn't have any concerns coming out actually today. I knew that they weren't going to reopen unless they had a strong game plan and they were absolutely 100% sure that their guests and their uh, employees were protected as well. Our cameras were not allowed inside, but according to its website, the casino is using what it calls state of the art disinfection materials. Visitors had to have their temperatures taken before entering and visitors say inside every other slot machine was turned off. Face coverings are mandatory. Hamul Casino also had a soft opening today. There's some promising news on the development of a coronavirus vaccine. Drug maker Moderna says that early data from a small clinical trial shows people given its potential vaccine did develop antibodies against the virus. Moderna says the phase one data is only from the first eight participants in the trial, but they all developed antibodies at levels that reached or exceeded those seen in people who have recovered from COVID-19. Moderna says it hopes to start its phase three trial in July. Masks are probably going to be required in public for quite a while, so a number of companies are working to make them more wearable for everyday activities, including eating. Israeli inventors have come up with this design that lets you eat without taking off your mask. You squeeze a lever, it opens a slot in the front of the mask so you can pass food through. The company says it has applied for a patent and plans to start making the mask within months. From sunny skies to rain around the county, what is Tuesday going to look like? Dagmar has a look after a quick break. NBC7's nightly check-in is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating and Air, Flood and Restoration. Bill Howe is open to provide customers with repairs and services. We have taken additional measures to keep our customers and technicians safe. We will continue to provide San Diego with trusted, exceptional service. Because we know how. So for your Tuesday, you were looking at a mostly sunny day. Yes, we did have the showers pass through overnight, and you'll continue to feel some windy to at times breezy conditions as well today. But overall, a beautiful Tuesday shaping up for you with partly cloudy skies over and to the west of the mountains. The coast and the inland valleys mid to upper 60s, mountains mid 50s, and the deserts are looking at about the low 80s under mostly sunny skies. So a fresh day in store for everyone as we head through this Tuesday. Enjoy.
Amid the pandemic, more and more people have stepped up to foster adoption ready pets, including one of our coworkers here. 11 year old Jane and Oliver are being fostered by NBC7 reporter Ashley Matthews. Their owner unfortunately had to go to the hospital because of COVID-19 and sadly one of the owners did pass away. The dogs were taken to the Humane Society in Escondido and workers there contacted Frosted Faces. Ashley says she filled out an application and asked to foster Jane and Oliver until they find a new loving home. When Jane's wandering around being her little old lady self and he's like, wait, where'd my sister go? And then he finds her and he jumps on her and she's like, oh, hey, bro. That's San Diego Humane Society. There are 876 animals in foster care right now. That's 70% of their animal, animal population, which really helps volunteers and workers at the shelter be able to socially distance. A local theme park is paying tribute to the essential workers across the U.S. This master model at Legoland in Carlsbad honors those on the front lines. The special scene features a miniature Lego version of New York, and it's just filled with Lego versions of frontline workers, including New Yorkers cheering on their hard work and a special Lego thank you banner. That's going to do it for our nightly check-in. Before we sign off, our Investigates team just released a new podcast this week. The team took a COVID-19 test and they break down the entire process and what went wrong. You can subscribe to Insight by searching Insight NBC in any podcast streaming platform. Have a good night.